Uh, I got him already. We haven't uh, even started. Hey there, and uh, welcome to Insert Coin Theater. We are here for yet another episode (laughs) with your wonderful hosts. My name is Tim. I'm Cogsworth. (laughs) He's George, actually. I'm Recky. Cogsworth it. So awesome. So um <laughs> we have we have a great show lined up. It's gonna be a great show, guys. Yay! Oh, Always sad is day. <laughs> so we have uh we have a lot lined up tonight. Uh we're gonna be talking about some gaming news, including Nintendo Direct. That's my neck of the woods. <laughs> uh we are going to talk about Final Fantasy, <gasps> Overwatch, <gasps> Fallout 4, <gasps> Sandbox right. Games. And we're also going to talk about sports. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're going to talk about whatever we can. And we're well, also going to play. A lot we're also going to play a little game with George that we love so much. It's called "What's the Name of the Game?" Yeah, yeah. What's the name? Of I hope the I can game? ace it again What's this time. What's the name of the game? Oh, yeah. You're going to make it real I'm hard this bets time. Taking bets right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Tim's Anyways, make it super hard this summer. Welcome to the think. show. This I'm Tim. This is Insert Coin Theater. <laughs> Let's get the show started. What are you doing, George? Stop fiddling with stuff. I'm just gonna turn the fan on. You, you unplugged sweating it. Sweating like a spring sow. It's already been unplugged. It just makes too much noise. It picks up on all the mics, um, and all you hear is this lovely no sh- no sound in the background. It's just raining outside. Yeah. They don't know. <laughs> it's horrible storm outside. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so inclement weather. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hey, sugar. Hello. Hello. So, so let's say it all at once. Fallout for no. Oh, oh you wait, got wait. it. What's the name of the game? No, no. Uh, I'm gonna. What are we you. playing? Uh, What's uh, everybody uh, playing? Fallout for ready. Fall- uh, jeez. <laughs> What's the this? name of the game? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Right, I'm gonna I'm do. I'm gonna do up. one, two, three, then go, and then we'll all say it. So after do we go. go on go or go on three? <laughs> go on go. Go on go. One, two, three, go. Fallout. Fall- Four. There yeah. we go. Hooray! Screw you guys. <laughs> I hate you all. <laughs> don't you? Do you? Uh, Do you tell we don't script this? Hey, this is all off the cuff, people. Ugh. So, uh, Kendo said, nice intro. Yeah! Sure enough, I'll here. Take, I'll Tim take credit for that one. Way too long I on spent that. an entire Sunday working on it. Whee! I can't think of a better Sunday. Hey, that's going to last us at least... A better Sunday. That intro is going to last us at least three more years. episodes. Yeah, yeah, until you decide to change <laughs> ten it Ten more again. years? God, if I look like that in ten more years, that, something went wrong. <laughs> should be at least 400 more pounds by then. <laughs> <laughs> I got it all planned all out, right, guys. We're done. I'm out. Uh, <laughs> Show's over. Let's go. going to wheel Wrap me in. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. So what level are you guys in Fallout 4? I don't even want to hear it, all right? <laughs> I don't even want to hear it. I am 24? Really? I'm 25. 20-something. I'm 9. 23. Aww. Maybe 23. You are not 9. You were like 17. I'm level 9. Are you serious? Actually, no. No, you're not. Oh, you're 10? Yeah. yeah. Double digits. Have, you, I leveled have up. you been playing the game? 15 hours. And you're... Really? Fifth, that... Man, you're slow. I'm sorry. I have to work, people. Yeah, no, you're, I've got, you're, <laughs> I've I got have two. a job. But some of us took two days off to play it. Yeah. And you only play one day of it. So, I don't want to hear Mike, it, people. Thanks, Mike. <sighs> Your sons of... Shout out to Mike. <laughs> sons of Mitches. <laughs> so, so... Fallout 4. Fallout 4. So, what what was your favorite bit so Cogsworth. far? No, No spoilers, but what's your, favorite, what's your favorite bit so far? Um... Codsworth? Stumbling on a synth. Man, you are so loud. Trying to. Yeah. <laughs> Which one is he? Just, just Yeah, uh, the second one. He's the second one. Hello, hello, hello. I thought we. Didn't we try this? We tried yeah, yeah no. well. Okay, I think he's good now. Because there's no music. That's yeah. why. Yeah. See, we, we, we gotta do it without the music. Back up a little, that's all. 
There you go, anyway. That's perfect. Anyway. I'm sorry. I was so, now you sound I'm passionate about We want to see your face. Jesus. Your, your best thing you like so far. Uh, okay, so this really isn't anything story. It was just like I stumbled upon these two people. One was on his knees. Don't even think about it, you freaks. <laughs> One was on his knees and the other guy. Let me. They were actually looked exactly the same. They were the same people. And one had the other one, you know, a gunpoint and very saying, He's a synth. He's you know, he's trying to take my identity, whatever, and I just was like, What is going on? So I know calmed everybody down by you know, like with the charisma options. And uh the one that was on the ground turned out that was actually was the synth and he goes, Now I have to dig two graves and he just pulls out a shotgun. <laughs> That's awesome. And I'm like, What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> and the other one literally just dives onto him and knocks him down and takes a gun and the other guy just starts sprinting. I'm like, <laughs> well, I guess he was the bad guy. That's awesome. <laughs> just underneath a now bridge. Now I have I to like, dig okay. two graves. Yeah, I was That's like, intense. this dude's insane. That's so cool. What about you, Recky? My favorite parts are just how much the world seems to go on without you interacting with it. Like, some people show up a little bit into the game and... Then they decide that they're going to clean up the wasteland somehow. And so I'll just be walking through and I'll hear gunfire and there'll be guys over there fighting. And then the mutants fight the raiders and then the raiders fight Diamond City and everything just kind of like goes on without me. And that's Living, really breathing awesome. world. Like it definitely feels like they they really did a really good job this time. Like they, they touted that with Skyrim a lot, but... That radiant engine, though. Yeah, unless you were kind of like in the area, the people at Skyrim didn't do anything. But I'll show up to a place and it'll be cleared out already, and I'll be like, "Okay, take all the stuff." <laughs> yeah, that's happened to me a couple. Yeah, times they don't soon. loot anybody. Oh, and it was like a hide huge a deadly presence too. Hey, 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 hey! hey your girl. favorite thing, Tim? Oh, there's so many. The list goes. Oh, pick the one. The list is huge. Um, so I think one of my favorite things so far that's was when he found out he was a man. I I went into this. I went to this place, and I'm not going to spoil where it was or who was involved. But yeah, vague vagueness. I, I go into this place, and there's this this dude. Um, they're standing in front of like this lava pit, like type thing. And there's Let's this say dude his name's Jeffrey, who's got his hands tied behind his back on his knees, facing you, facing the door you just came in. There's a there's a dude like decked out, like just super near, decked right? out, oh, up like above armor on, a, on a thing on like a catwalk above. And there's this guy who's standing there. He's like. I'll do anything to join. I'll do anything to join. He's like, then you have to kill him. And he's like, but I don't want to do that. And my options were, just kill him. It's him or you. Just kill him. Or I can say, um, don't do it. It's not worth it. Just go home. Just leave while you still can. And um, so they were the charisma options. And so my charisma, like, it was a, a chance. And I fail every single time. <laughs> so, oh, man. So... Um, I, I talk to the guy and I'm like, just, just, just walk away, cause I'm, I'm, you know, I'm playing me and I'm a pretty chill nice. dude. So, you know, I'm, I, I'm like, just You're walk away, dude. Don't, don't kill him. Just walk away. And I fail. He's like, I, I gotta do it, man. And then he just kicks the dude into the lava. Oh my god. And I'm gosh. like. Oh god! And then the dude that's decked out up above is like, "Now your next task, kill them." Oh and I'm like, god. "What?" And I, so I pulled out my gun and I just pointed at the guy. And like, I have the uh, laser musket, yeah. and it's like four charged laser musket. Yeah. I point at the guy. I didn't even aim. I just pulled the trigger and just blew his head clean off. And he like went, ooh, ooh, and his body like just topples, like oh Star gosh. Wars style into the lava, like like Lord of the Rings. When the like, guy <laughs> when the guy kicked him into the lava pit, did he go, "This is Sparta"? <laughs> he no, should. but he should have. It would have been awesome, but it was it was slick. Nate says his favorite part is watching Tim uh, Hoover all of the junk in the wasteland. Up. <laughs> yeah, so um, I have a compulsion hoarding <laughs> where everything that um, everything I that's need, not nailed down, everything that it. I need, inventory. So I'm just like I, I might as well make the uh, noise every time I kill someone because I just everything in my inventory just oh yep because I just like exactly. at any point I have like a like over a thousand steel and like just from scrapping guns and yeah. stuff like I just have so much so much I spend stuff, so much so. time just like this looking through my inventory don't need <laughs> just that right? through. Uh, why am I still over encumbered or what hey, is hey companion come here let me give you all this junk uh, Kendo says he likes uh, equipping settlers with leftover stuff oh let me see if that fits me oh yeah you should is don't it, don't left arm? You, don't play with the velcro. It's gonna be really loud with the mics. Yeah, don't play with the velcro. I don't, even, I don't even know what you're talking about. There's, There's velcro, velcro inside. inside. No, I just want to. I'm not gonna try to like yeah, it'll, legitimately it'll put it on. Yeah, it'll fit. See so yeah, so left arm. Left arm. Yeah. See. Oh yeah, that's awesome. They made it pretty big. 
I made it for huge guys. I'm not going to clip it on because I don't want to go through all that effort. Yeah, <laughs> I don't blame you. But yeah, okay, that's the, so that's the Pip awesome. Boy from the uh, Pip Boy edition. Solid clip too. Yeah, wow. metal actual yeah. metal clip. Okay, nice. because because no games are perfect. What's something that you're not thrilled with right now? Um, I have a lot of uh, problems with the speech. Uh, like sometimes, uh, we'll they'll I'll say an option, and then we're both just like this staring at each other nothing's happening and it's mm. just blank I can't pick any options and we just stare there awkwardly for a little bit until finally I can I've had say that happen in Bioware games before yeah, it's really weird. where you like pick an I, option and you'll just stare at each I other I wonder if that's a hard issue because I have not had that problem at all yeah. like ever mm-hmm. so yeah it was it's really weird I don't I don't get it <laughs> Nathan says naked bodies everywhere oh Tim's been here yes <laughs> oh, take yeah, all this... of, I will only strip bodies if they're near a settlement so that I can go Break down all that. I only but. strip them if I think that it's an upgrade. If it, if I don't think it's an upgrade, bro, right then and there, I just leave. Bro, them. that clothes, that's cloth and leather, man. I don't <laughs> have enough inventory <laughs> space, right. man. Yeah, he's got a super strong career. Okay, something you're not thrilled about. Oh, something I'm not thrilled about. It's like, perfect. What? No, well, what have you been like? Wow, I wish they didn't do this that way. Bro. Vats is a bit more useless than I'd like it to be. I don't even use Yeah, Vats. I don't use Vats. Never. Because I miss more often with Vats than when I hit normally. And it just slows everything down And yeah, I know so it's rela- related to your your um, your uh, perception, I think, is your, yeah, your gun skill and your, your think, accuracy. But yeah, I think Vats has more to do with your luck skill, Yeah, to be honest. Because yeah. I have a really high luck, and um, my Vats is pretty good. Like, And especially my crit meter. Like, getting that crit meter up and then saving it I've for heard, a legendary is really mm, useful. I've heard a lot of people say luck is really OP in this one. Yeah. Like, at some there's point, a lot there's of really some, good like, luck uh, ones. mystery... Oh, the mysterious stranger. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, and he can come and just, like, one-shot anybody. He one-shotted a legendary Mirelurk for me once. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and, like, he just wow. randomly can, like, take out, like, a boss just one, one shot. Of the, one of the luck ones is uh, when you get a kill, they can randomly explode in a shower of caps and just caps oh, go I saw flying. That, yeah. But you have to go pick up every cap have individual. you had that? No, I, I, I don't, heard about it. I don't do I mean, luck on this character perk. because personally, I'm not that lucky. <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't do luck or agility. Everything else I, have I tried to build it like me. Agility is like two. So I, I am annoyed by how difficult it is to link your settlements together, like your items and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I find that pretty I, intuitive. I haven't even really? had any yeah. chance I, to do any of that. I am really struggling with. Because my character has such a low strength, I can never carry anything. Yeah. So I'm having a real hard time getting my junk from one place to another so that I can build all the requirements to getting more people yeah. to getting Well, that's why you build up one, going. and then you link them. But, I mean, that's fair enough. That's a fair enough issue to have. Probably something that could be easily remedied with mods in the future. So, yeah. Yeah. I, overall I, pretty I, good, though. Nate says, uh, George just likes sniping people. <laughs> Than I touching them. Stripping. Oh yes, <laughs> stripping. Sh- oh, then touching. I do them. like sniping them. Though. Also touching them. Stripping. It says touching though. Sniping, stripping, and then touching. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's, that's my. Thing. That's my. Yeah, oh, spirit fingers. <laughs> uh, Tim, how have you liked the uh, like building? I haven't got to do much, but it's, I know that's your. I love it. It's I, your jam. It's good, but I it's... wish it took less crap to make stuff. Yeah. Psh, ain't nothing. You just well, gotta, Tim, you just gotta hoarder, Hoover so. everything up. This guy with his three hundred. Base carry weight. <laughs> Isn't three, it three hundred? You're disgusting. I think I'm up to three twenty. I think I'm at two eighty right I now. I wear power armor and I barely. And hit my strength is nothing. When I get my strength up, it's gonna be awesome. Oh yeah, my strength is high. What? It, oh, cause you you said you're uh, making everything po- pocketed. Yes, you right? can upgrade the armor and add pockets, which mm-hmm. ups your carry weight. So I do pocketed arm, like deep pocketed armor, which mm-hmm. really ups the carry weight of each item. So it's for chest, um, arms, legs. It's awesome. So do you, so do you feel that? It's better. Which is the best way to d- evenly distribute your perks around the the chart, or to like beeline one specific thing and go all the way up, and then for like me, focus on one thing, or to just spread it around? For me, it's hard to pick just one thing because I feel like they're all pretty useful to have points in you, except for like I said, luck and agility. I don't care any about those because luck doesn't matter to me. Nathan, but that's disgusting. <laughs> Nathan at three seventy. Oh my Carry god! Weight. Just go home. Jeez, but it I it, I can't, I've got to have uh, points in everything. You know, I try to put a little bit. I'm trying now to start focusing a little bit more on charisma because I fail so much on um, conversations mm-hmm. to get you know convince them to do things. But for the most part, I can't really see. Everything seems so useful now. Like that, I need it has everything. Been really, 
You know, I can't be like, you know, I'm just going to go strength, you know, because I yep. see the other skills for, oh, like, you know, and some perception or whatever. So I've, good. I've yeah. done the, the same. I put a bit into, like, lock picking and armory. Lock and picking's and my all jam. All those basic yeah. ones. And, and I find that it's. I feel like it would have been better for my character to, to, like, focus on something, but I just can't. Mm. Yeah. I, just, I want everything. Exactly. So. Yeah. What about you, Tim? Lock picking. No. Focus or <sighs> spread out? You know, I started off with a few perks in mind that I needed, like Gun Nut. Um, I did one in Armorer. But as I went along, I kind of focused on the ones that I needed for that time. So, like, mm -hmm. as I was building up um, Sanctuary, my main settlement, um, I, I got local leader so I could build um, the uh, store the storefronts. Yeah. And then I took the uh, cap one, which also which enabled me to build the big storefronts, the really expensive yeah. ones. That's an interesting way to do it, to save your perks and then spend them as you need them. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's so so I I've kind of been doing that. It's it's, it's funny because as I've been time. as I've been streaming it, um, they've been like, um, Nathan's been like, hey, you you have you have an unspent perk, and I'm like, I, <laughs> like I know spend it, spend I know it. I don't want to spend it right away. I want to save it. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, it's and I'm uh, waiting to. Uh, it's difficult though because you get you get um, you get itchy itchy fingers with that. Like you're just yeah. like spend spend like burns a hole in your pocket. Oh yeah, you know? and so. then constantly it's always like you've got an unspent perk. You got an unspent perk. I just like spend it as much as you can. I get stuff up there constantly. I'm yeah. just ignoring it now. I don't mm -hmm. even notice it. Yeah. I looked down earlier and I had four unspent perks. I'm yeah. just like, oh, all right. <laughs> yep. Let me spend time to do this. Um, and I found, too, that I think intellect I will need to start putting more points into because that affects how much experience you actually get, yeah. which is good. I don't know how much it affects it, but, you know, if you read the little thing, it says that it, uh, you know, changes how much experience you get. Right. So more is better. <laughs> So yeah, Kendo so would just turn Kendo was saying over. that yeah, Kendo was saying metal buildings don't um, clip correctly, and uh, um, Nate said to build it from the outside. You have to stand on the outside to get things to yeah to, to snap correctly. Don't they, they kind of like the, lock together? With the of? exception of wood corners, they will will snap to the inside. Corners okay. corners have never worked right for me. Really? At all? I, only from the, the inside corners, or the outside? I can't. Corners. Every time I try to put the uh, roof on. It goes the the wrong side, the outside every time. I'm not talking about roofs. I'm talking about the right, but the corner pieces wall to put the roof attached to it. It only will let me put it on the outside of the building, not on the they, inside. They they don't attach corners don't attach to roofs. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. What's the point of them then? Because you can't butt things like you that. You just lay them on top. Yeah, you can. Okay. Well, I. <laughs> oh, see, we're okay. gonna we're gonna let do me, this let later. Let me let me give let me give a gripe then. Their tutorials are yeah, non-existent no, they, for they building. They really should have done a more. I mean, I know they wanted it to be organic, like oh, you're just gonna and like free form, like here's yeah, the quest and build stuff like, go build and this let thing. you figure it out. Yeah. But I feel like you really should have been like, okay, you're gonna turn it. Like it should have been more a gamey kind of. Yeah. Can you actually turn the walls and stuff? Yes. Yeah, because I don't you know can, how to you do can that. Free spin things. There's and, so many. But things. I'm on the console. You guys are on PC, so I don't know. No, what it's, it's all the do. same. It's, I mean, you, no, I mean, like, do you know what controls? Oh, I don't know. No, okay, not offhand. Yeah, see, I don't. It's just right mouse button, so it's probably your triggers when you have an item that pulled might be out. It. Yeah, it's your okay, trigger. I'll try that. Or hold a trigger and spin it. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So it could be any number of things. I'll but figure it out eventually. Yeah, that's. I, I think. I think that's my yet. biggest gripe then, because I love the direction they've taken. The narrative story is so good for for a Fallout game. So yeah. many people I've read online are just whinging about. Oh, it's not a Fallout game because the you know oh it's Stop voiced whining. and we've you know oh the, the voice doesn't my match my character. Part it's, is that it's the voice. I'm so much more connected to a voice. Oh, I'm yeah, so than much. One hundred percent. And people are like, oh, but you're forced to go search for your son. No, you're not. I haven't. I haven't I searched for him for, like, for like five minutes. I was like, Psh, my kid will die. I don't yeah. care. Whatever. I'm going see, to do something. See, my, <laughs> my character <laughs> is because I, I had no connection to the kid. Mm. You know, my character is the the obsessive grieving mother. So mm. like. I have a room in my house that's like gonna have all that has toys and stuff for him <laughs> when he eventually when he comes, comes back. Yeah, no, she definitely has gone off the deep end a little. So my characters were like, oh, "I'm gonna get my kid back." <laughs> yeah, so. I forgot I even had a kid. I was like, "Oh, wasteland, <laughs> babies." Oh well. 
Oh, I thought I lost my football. Oh, whoops. I keep saying Sean, but I thought that was my shoe I left at it, home. It might be a little creepy, but I have a whole, I have a whole wing I'm gonna, in my house. I'm going to so. name one of my guns Sean. Yep. I bring Sean, Sean baby. everywhere I go. Sean's always with me. Yeah. <laughs> Sean's been taking lives for years. Oh, my God. Okay. Sean's before, a stone cold Before killer. this becomes a Fallout only episode, maybe we should talk about something uh, yes. else. Yes. So anyway, so that's, that's Fallout. Um, we had to get it out of our systems because we've been playing it pretty much religiously that's literally all i've been streaming yeah. is fallout yeah. but um yeah so let's move on um we're gonna go ahead and talk about some news battlefront comes out tomorrow tonight, tonight, midnight. tonight at midnight pretty midnight. excited we'll about it i've got it pre-ordered tomorrow. it um it's downloading um very stoked you can buy the super <laughs> ultimate edition where you can actually get a millennium falcon tim a real one <laughs> Yeah, it cost me. Where, um, where are you gonna put that? It cost me 180 grand. Yeah, see, where are Reggie, you gonna put that? We took on the out, roof? I took out two extra mortgages yep. <laughs> to be able to fund hey, my battle. My name's game. not on the title. <laughs> Tim Damn. <Doan. laughs> All right, um, I can leave with no problem. So pretty I'm much out. the only like really exciting things, the only real triple A titles that are coming out um, anytime soon. Call of Duty is um, oh, I don't talk about that. <laughs> Rainbow Six Siege in December 1st and Just Cause 3 same day, December 1st. So those are the two next big ones after. Are you tomorrow. gonna buy Just Cause? Um, not right away. Yeah. Um, it's one of those games that I usually get after um the you know it's gone on sale. If it, we need to see if it's like co-op because if yeah, it is, we probably I don't get it think right it away. is though. I think Come they because they, nice they're just very uh, stuck to their ways, kind of. What is that in reference to? Uh, oh, comes out in midnight only in only in the U.S. I guess. So I guess hmm. I guess uh, the yeah. UK does not F- get it. Sorry F-E-A, guys. EA, we agree. Yeah, we agree. EA EA can can bite me. I for I, all you uh, Xbox people that uh, got to play what were you saying ten hours oh, yeah. before. So if you had EA access and Xbox One and pre-ordered it, you got ten hours of play a week ahead of time. I don't care. Thank you so much. EA. We love you. Yeah, that is still BS. the worst way company. to slap your com- your your customers in the face. No, actually, for the high Xbox people, they all high fived them. Oh, I know the the Xbox people are like. Yee! Yee, I have the see, I have an Xbox, and what they just did was guarantee that I will never get EA access yep. because I do not. See, yeah. I am not for anti consumer stuff, and that's mm-hmm. pretty anti consumer yeah. in a lot of ways. It's Pro Xbox consumer, greedy. They just want anti that cash everything money. else consumer. Exactly. All right, so um, but I am pretty excited about Just Cause Three. And he will be streaming tonight at midnight. He says uh, maybe it depends on um, how many dirty looks I get from my wife, <laughs> which are already <laughs> racking up right now. Is oh, Nate has to wait till the nineteenth for Battlefront to come out Ooh. in the UK. What that is the, what sucks. What is the point? Of Welcome that to America. Now. Delayed. No, what is the? I mean, it's a lot of companies like in Japan still do that where they have the Japanese release that goes and then because they have to localize. But, and that kind of makes sense. Uh, the, I mean, a little, but honestly, they've done simultaneous releases enough for games that they shouldn't no, be a problem. you're right. But, like, when you don't have to localize, like, a European version is hardly different from a North American version. Like, mm, right? true. Do they they change so many things that they have to... Well, it's they have totally to... Totally different they have to add, They have to add all those U's. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one UK guy in the basement <laughs> typing in U's. He's like, oh, God, oh, I oh, hate this job. job. <laughs> He's just control F, color, add a U. Control F. Bad. Oh, like, they have to redo all the voice acting in case right, they said router. Right. They're like, no, router. It, it, it's just the normal voice, <laughs> and then, like, when you put in that one little word, like... Oh, and then a rotor. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, take that root down there. <laughs> oh, and they do the terrible like stubs. Right, love right. you, UK. You love you guys. <laughs> so um, you harass us so that's, much. That's, we that's have a to bummer. You. That's a bummer. All right, that does so suck, though. I don't. <laughs> America. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to Just Cause Three. Definitely looking forward to, to Battlefront and um, Rainbow Six Siege is going to be fun. That's that's on my list. I mean, it's in too, December, yeah. so I mean, that's that's my somewhat my one purchase even in December no campaign, and it's so. going to be sixty dollars for half a game. <laughs> they said uh, F and Merkins. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Love you. All right, so um, let's talk Nintendo Direct. Yay! Why? That just happened because Nintendo uh, Direct is a I big know, press I conference. Know, I, know, I, know, I, know, and, I know. And George, go why not? Because let's, George. let's give George something to do the show for. Right. A reason to do a the reason. show. 
So uh, exactly. I'm running out of what, reasons. What are they bringing to Smash, dude? Uh, I literally screamed oh, like a child when I More saw this. More Cloud. <laughs> Cloud is coming I'm to so Smash excited. Brothers, and he looks incredible. Uh, Braver and his oh. Omni Slash. Uh, it's going to be amazing. I would actually give up Samus for Cloud. I am so freaking excited. I never, ever in a million years thought that they would bring this character to Smash. It well, never I, even I, my I mind. never expected to see him hit anything other yeah, than a Sony console. Exactly, but yeah. I mean, they're going to do the re release across all the consoles, mm-hmm. I think. So. Oh, I'm assuming that would be the best option yeah, you know, well, for everybody be, to get to back yeah, into it. It'll I probably come actually, it might, as well. It, or it might be a timed release. Yeah, exactly. It's Square, though. Square is all about that multi platform now. That's true, but with seven, I, don't, uh, it w- I would want everyone to be able to play the remake just because yes. Final Fantasy Seven was so good. But yeah, yeah so Cloud Strive coming. Okay, no, I I'll get you. Wait. I'll get your. We'll get yours here in a few minutes. Um, all right, so I uh, not wait. How you feeling about um, Twilight Princess HD? Also stoked. That's one of the. That's one of my favorite uh, Legend of Zelda games, just in art yeah. style. Just because it was so much darker and grittier than any other and Zelda Poppy. game. And yes, may, may I say, Poppy Link. I love it should Nintendo. have been an HD in the first place, Nintendo, if you would have put your console that you released in the middle of the Xbox the 360 PS3. The next console is going to have state-of-the-art chips in it. That's what they said. So they're going to put Doritos in yeah. it? Yeah. Exactly. No, <laughs> Cool Ranch Doritos. Cool Ranch right. Doritos. <laughs> state-of-the-art. I love Midna, too. She's oh, yeah. she, the best. Yeah, she no, is really I, awesome. I look forward to that because... I tried. I tried playing that game a while back. It looks like butt. It does yeah, look doesn't, on, doesn't it, on it SD. looks a little rough. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's it's there's so rough. many jaggies. It's so bad. Yeah, like and it really it needed anti-aliasing so bad. Mm-hmm. And if if they don't put anti-aliasing on this oh, version, I'm, I'm assuming they will. Oh, I'm no, gonna I'm gonna vomit would. all over Nintendo. I'm just gonna drive to the Nintendo America headquarters <laughs> and just vomit, <laughs> just vomit on their sign. The, <laughs> just project over the welcome mat. <laughs> But, Jaggies! Uh, oh. <laughs> like I said, it, it's definitely one of the best art styles in a Zelda game because usually they're so like vibrant, and colorful, and this is really just like dark and yeah. It, it was it so. Was how about how about Linkle? She's adorable. adorable. She's super cute. Yeah, oh my super gosh! Super adorable. So nice. Hyrule Warriors is releasing a the first ever female now, version of only Link on no. DS. I can't remember. Uh, it? Yeah, I, it is I DS. Thought I, I thought I read something that she wasn't actually a female version of Link. She was a different character. She yeah, because her name's like different. From a small Linkle, village, or but whatever, she's but essentially the female Link. Like it's, I think that's mm. you know because she's a Kokiri or whatever they yeah. are, and mm. she's she's looks identical. Like, like it's like identical twins. Yeah. Like Yellow if, you, hair. if you see her, she looks identical. No, I know, I've seen her. I'm yeah. just like she's super cute. Either though. Either she is a, a multiverse version, or she's. I, not. I don't see, think that's she's what we don't know. Though a I don't. I don't think she character. is. No, I think it's just just like, because be a little her, cute thing. If her and a version of Link exist in the same game, then she's not a female. Link. Yeah, she's no, a right. new character. Right, yeah. she is, but like, she's, okay, so she's that, that makes it. She's being hailed as the female Link. Yeah, and the and and she may very well be in the Hyrule Warriors universe. Because that's done by a third party. That's not Nintendo, mm. yeah, so we don't uh, know. Same people made Dynasty Warriors. That's I can't right. Yeah, so we don't know okay, for sure. So, but yeah. either way, she's cute and she uses uh, dual crossbows, which is pretty awesome. She can actually melee with them too. It looks like and one of the things is she's like that spin attacking. That little thing stuff. is so she's so cute. Yeah, she is. But yeah, I don't think she's like taking over Link or anything like that. So, um, did you want to get to Ken? Or so Ken, Ken, well, we'll get to Kendo's oh, okay. uh, first one in a minute. But Kendo said he can't wait for the wait for a Nintendo console. He doesn't want an Xbone or a, a PlayStation. Uh, he said PC Master Race for the win. But um, I will eventually <laughs> get it. So Kendo is a uh, is craving that Nintendo. Yeah, and man, I think it's going to be good. Like if they I, really do use state of the art chips, yes, I think it, that could be a step in the right direction. It just, it just I just saying, don't know. Saying yet. state of the art chips is such a such a vague, non, stupid, well, non-term. I mean. non I, I'm just hoping. Okay? We're going to use state of the art chips. So a lot of hope. chips that you just made that were used in a TI-84. A TI-84 is Can't still. Can't you just be hopeful, Tim? No, no. I never. Nintendo to with, do the right thing, George. Nintendo hasn't done the right thing in two, two no, generations. But we so. can't give up. Okay. Yes, you can. No. All yes. right. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Even um, Kendo's not giving it. <laughs> give Thank up, Kendo. Kendo. Don't do it. All right. They're gonna do it right. <laughs> They've heard. All right. Um. So, uh, what about Minecraft Wii U? Um. This was not announced at Nintendo Direct, but um, Peggy, the uh, the software review board for Europe, mm-hmm. um, released the rating um for it. 
in in Europe, which which usually which is a much more reliable source yeah. than the ESRB. I can't remember where I heard it. I feel um, I heard this. But a usually, when they back. release a rating, it usually means the game is yeah. coming. So. Um, yeah, so Minecraft Wii U, but they didn't announce it in the Direct, which is weird. And I, it's weird to me because Microsoft still pushing out into other consoles is, is odd to me. Like, yeah. I figured like they would, because they agreed that, you know, if you bought it on X console or on X platform, we'll always support it. So yeah. it'll always be on the Xbox, and it'll probably always be on the PS4. It'll be on PC, definitely, but I, I, I didn't foresee them expanding onto the, the Wii U. Nintendo must have given them a lot of money. For that, yeah, for that, that they company. really if must it does have. Happen, yeah, I feel like yeah. that was an expensive license to borrow but at yeah. least you know they're trying even you know to, to broaden the indie market but i just really don't care about minecraft for wii u played yeah. minecraft a million times and everything else so you don't think I, it'll add anything to have the uh they're, pad? So, they're so far behind on um, compared to the pc version oh god like, not it's even, just there's not even, not even i worth just don't care about it <laughs> kendo says everyone needs a healthy dose of mario man yes exactly <laughs> exactly so, Thank you for yep. finally someone being on my side for once wow. on this. This, this is refreshing. Kendo. This you're is not refreshing. a mod anymore. We're not, we're not drawing lines Thank here, you. George. We're I'm, all like I'm celebrating Nintendo <laughs> Direct. Wait a all right. <laughs> I've had all right, plenty of all lines right. so Kendo <laughs> says, George, you might be a casual scrub, but I'm with you on the Nintendo Thank console you. thing. Thank you. Kendo, get out. You <laughs> anyway. What, bonus what points to We're Kendo. done. We're not friends anymore. I got your back. All right. So before I get to, because Kendo said something about Assassin's Creed Syndicate. So they did a little poll on the uh, the um, Square uh, Enix Twitter for Japanese and American users, uh, asking if they should put Moogles in Final Fantasy XV. Yes. Over forty thousand people voted and said, "Yeah, yeah, because Moogles." And so they said, "Yes, we will, but we will not be taking any resources yeah, away, exactly. away from developing FF15. But they're going to add in a character that is a Moogle." So it, the species exists in that in that universe, and it will be an interesting interaction to have and yeah, a cool that's little throwback. A, the way the way they said it kind of made me a little worried about it because it's uh, saying that if it cut if it them putting it in there messes with the development of the game, getting it done on time. Yeah, they're not going to do it. That's right. the only thing that I was like, whoa. Okay, but we he, voted, but you still said, might not said, do it. He said um, the the creative director for the game said that. Um, he'll assign resources that aren't working actively on the core parts mm, of the game okay. to do it. Is, is is what the impression I got out of the okay. tweets that he said. Uh, I'm, so. I'm, awesome. I am cautiously optimistic about 15. Yeah, About the game? Yeah, oh, just yeah. in general. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, they've made Kendo the typical not. square mistakes so far, so we'll Kendo's, see. Kendo's saying, what's a Moogle? Moogle, can I kill it? It's like a flying... It good meat? It's almost like a flying... Don't eat Moogles. They're your friends. Bear. He knows. He's just being... Oh, okay. He's, he's being, being annoying. Like, he's, he's trying to harass me. He's being a noob. Moogles are <laughs> He's the being best. a Nintendo scrub. <laughs> yeah, Nintendo scrub for the win. <laughs> All right, so um, are you excited about that one, Ricky? What? Moogles? I love Moogles. That was actually... I know it sounded awful. It sounded sarcastic. I promise we're in no way paid for that. I love Moogles. Also, they have you great. seen Cherry Coca-Cola? It is okay, deli- that sounded really sarcastic, <laughs> but my level of love for Moogles is just so much that it broke my emotion circuits there for a minute, okay? <laughs> went to robot mode. I am a robot. Moogles are you excited are about Moog- Are you excited about Final Fantasy 15 at all? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm in the I same mean, it boat. Looks cool, but I honestly I don't know I, enough about. I it yet love the Final Fantasy tell. series, and I think no one knows anything about yeah. it. I think it's... all the games so far have been really cool because I've watched her play most of them. I'm just not. I just can never really invest myself into that much. There's so much to do, and they're so traditional. I just can't invest myself in traditional it's RPGs been anymore. Very traditional, a few, few iterations. Final Fantasy 13 was still very JRPG. Really? Uh, yeah. I played a lot of JRPGs because so. I didn't feel it was very JRPG at all. It, it still had the whole grindy nastiness that <laughs> every JRPG <laughs> has. And what I I'm like biased. about games like Fallout yes, and, the, and the more action RPGs is they're not grindy. Yeah. I can't stand the grind. I just mm. get so Let's bored. Let's talk about what he wanted at now. <clears throat> all right. So uh, Kendo said he's never played a Final Fantasy before my time as a gamer. Dude, they've been releasing Final Fantasies since the beginning of time. Yeah, basically. <laughs> since Super Nintendo. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> All right, so um, so Kendo says Assassin's Creed Syndicate, uh, the $60 game with microtransactions that aren't needed, meaning you can buy real money. You can buy more real money currency than is actually needed unless... You want to max everything in the game, uh-huh. so that was a bit of a yeah, pretty much word salad. Word salad. Yeah. But pretty much what uh, what he's saying is that 
60 bucks for the game and then to get you know fast track to buy all the stuff or whatever you have to buy actual currency with real money so in game currency with real money for a standalone non multiplayer triple A title can you get it without spending real money probably but it's just gonna be grinding you gotta get probably a million dollars yeah for the single player of Assassin's Creed Syndicate yeah, it'll be soft. I'm done with the Assassin's oh, Creed be, games be, anyway. Be, honestly, I want I'm to done. play Syndicate though because it looks so good. But that makes me really like. Yeah, uh, it's, it's UB. I'm so just, used to their just crap. crapping on I'm everything. That doesn't just, mean that it's okay to let them get away with it. I I just won't. I'm I'm so done with what they've been doing. Even releasing you know games that w- didn't even work, and then now this. Like, come on, I'm yeah. just done. I'm so yeah. done with it. Uh, Ah, so Kendo says uh, he's literally only been a full gamer for three years and a PC Master Race for one year, and he's late to the party. That kind of explains it, but it's never too late, man. It's At never, least you ever, stayed with Nintendo. You can get Final Fantasy games on every platform known to man, <laughs> and you know you can get them on PC because they sell some on Steam. You can get them on on online. If you, you can actually get, get Final Fantasy VII on smartphones now. Yeah. Like, why would you want to? Because it's amazing. <laughs> Yeah. If I had a smartphone that could run it, Kendo, I'd have 10. Let me, let me let you know, I think Final Fantasy VII is way dated, and the controls are terrible. Well, now? Really, yeah, really, yeah, they're yeah, horrible. No. I would never recommend that to a new gamer. I if, feel like if somebody just started gaming... Well, no, you can't... Hmm. 10. 10 would be a good starting for point. For a new gamer. Probably. Yes. For someone who's used to modern games, it's yes. as far back as I would go. A, yeah. Well, yeah, I would... For modern gamers, no, but... Just if you're willing it, to go amazing. a little classic, eight and nine. Yeah, if you want to try and see what it was like, because the story is amazing. The story is great, but you can get the story by just watching. You can, play, yes, like, but playthroughs and stuff. No, it was gross. Amazing then. It was the amazing moment. then, but there are, in my opinion, there's better stories that have come out since. Sure. The problem mm-hmm. with talking about Final Fantasy is that you get a group of people and say, "What's your favorite Final Fantasy game?" and every single person will give you a different answer. Because so, they're all good. Most of them are, and there's some pretty Don't ask ones. that question. It's a, I think some of the really early ones. can of worms. Oh, anyway. Okay, well, uh, how about Overwatch? Have you seen anything about Overwatch? That's uh, Blizzard's new... Yes, it's like a mix of TF2 and Dirty Bomb. Which is pretty Not cool. Two. Just... Team Fortress 2? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, looks really cool. I'm very excited about it. I haven't seen it. much of it. Watched a little bit of gameplay, but apparently in 2016, coming to consoles. PS4 yeah. and Xbox. Oh, yeah, I heard about that, So. Too. That's pretty cool. Um, it, it's gonna Is there out. really anything that makes it different than any other shooter? Is there really anything that calls out to you? No? Nobody's listening? Well, thanks, guys. It's a nice show. Sorry, <laughs> well, I was reading. I, I'm reading what Kendo is <laughs> saying. He said, just realized, why is Tim the only one being focused on? Hashtag favoritism. Hashtag George Matters. Hashtag and so does Recky. Thank you, man. Now, this I'm, is awesome. I, why, this is awesome. Why am I... Is the camera just focusing on me? Like, is it I, like... I no, you're just announcing. Yeah, no. well, yeah. It's a, it's, it's a table. It's, I They're started the show. The I the should table. get the rights to say what I want. They're telling you no. Also... I'm telling Kendo to go Before the show starts, we make Tim do uh, everything. Yeah, I literally here, do so. everything. No, so sorry. I feed the dogs. Oh, yeah. George feeds the dogs. So I need to I need to make some credits and put dog feeder, George. Caitlin does nothing. I feed the dogs. Tim does the tech. I'd, and everything else. Alright, Nathan well, says he's pre-ordered Overwatch <laughs> already. Yeah, so Nathan already pre-ordered it. But um, what, what were you saying, George? I'm sorry. You are saying something about... It's gone now. You just exciting. don't care. Exciting. Does it excite no, I was, you? I was, I was like saying, what stands out about it? What makes it any better than any other shooter? Like, um, it's just the like polish. Just rinse and release. The amount of polish. Um, and just the... And the mechanics or just the art style polish? Both. Yeah. Um, the mechanics look really solid. There's some really interesting mechanics. Like... Um, um, you can, uh, as the sniper, you can throw like a, a grid, like a mine, and it, it's like a poison mine. So it slowly gives everyone a dot that mm. goes around it, like when it activates. Mm. So like um, the objective is like if the objective is to push this mine cart up to this place that has like a bomb in it and blow th- this thing up. Oh god, that sounds then very Team Fortress. It was very Team Fortress. Jeez, what I saw, like but like you can put a, you can put, you know, throw down your mines at the sniper, and then you get a grappling hook, and you can actually like hit buildings and go to the top of buildings and like That's do parkour. And it's yeah. pretty sweet. So I just uh, I hope it. I just want to see new and unique mechanics. Yeah, and it looks like it'll be a lot of fun. I'm I'm pretty stoked about it. I'm not I'm not at the point where I'm going to pre-order just because I it's one of those games that I will probably play a lot once I get yeah. it. Yeah. But 
I'm waiting to see more before mm-hmm. I decide if it's worth pre-ordering or just go with it. Yeah. So okay. because it's like their pre-order bonuses are always like get some get a pet or a mountain wow and the thing in Diablo and this thing and it's like I don't play wow anymore and I barely ever play Diablo and all this stuff and it's like it's cool and I, I appreciate yeah. the sentiment. Unless you're like really into Blizzard and have if a you lot love of Blizzard, Blizzard games, games yeah, mm-hmm. then yeah. So that that's where I kind of that's kind of where I'm hitting the edge. Um, that's like um, they were doing. Um, I think it was like IGN or something. The Burger King or I can't remember. I think it was Burger King. Like you could get codes off Burger King drinks for. Um, for call the new Call of Duty, and you would get gun skins that were ketchup and mustard splattered on your gun. I was like, really? "That's really that's some uh, really high level." <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate like, that. This is what you guys yeah. are going for. Uh, oh yeah, no. that's, that's some, uh, interesting. So um, they says uh, there's interesting abilities for each character in Overwatch. Oh, so yeah, okay. they they all are very unique and very interesting, mm-hmm. and uh, it's very cool. I just I think you it should, looks. You should I check out like too. Battleborn. Yeah, Battleborn. I've heard is that that's similar, right? Or is that a MOBA? Uh, it's like a mix between. Is it like, like more a like Smite? And a MOBA? Like a third person? Type? No, because there's like a yeah. No, it's a first person. Oh, it's first person. Um, yeah, and there's there's like verses, or you can do like some objective based stuff, kind of mm-hmm. like missions, right? But like, I only got to play a little bit of you know what, what it was, but there's a. 25 playable characters and they're all pretty unique which I like so it, it's just an interesting yeah interesting there's, mechanic a, there's gonna be a in. bunch in, in um overwatch as well and I like the way the abilities are it has you know like MOBAs how you, you know you level up in each match and get abilities yeah they have a it's like a double helix and there's like two tiers and I, every time you level up you just pick one side or the other so it's really quick and intuitive where you just can pick them really fast and you can alternate too. You don't have to if you pick one from this tree. You're not stuck to that tree the whole time. You can just okay. mix and match. It's pretty interesting. Nathan said that he did not enjoy Battleborn. No, yeah, was, I think he played a, the beta. Okay. He says the controls feel felt sluggish, which might yeah. change. It, yeah, it might and, tighten up. It might you know depending on who you play as. Yeah, and but stuff. Um, yeah, it, it sounds interesting. I mean, mm-hmm. I'd give it a try, especially if it's a free to play. But I wouldn't sink money into. I don't it right know away. if it's free to play. Overwatch, I might just because it's a Blizzard product, and they're yeah. going to support that till the end of time. They mm-hmm. always do. I mean, uh, they, look they at s- look at WoW. I know another expansion. I'd, no I'd rather not. Yeah. Ever, <laughs> yeah. ever. Uh, that was a fun Seven, game, though. Uh, I in missed, the beginning, it. it was yeah. a lot in of fun. In the beginning, it really was Blizzard created like we had Azeroth some good times. and Kalimdor. Is on the like second day, he created the first orc. Azeroth was the main, the world, and Kalimdor yeah, I know Kalimdor and the Eastern right. Kingdoms. I know I'm, I'm dumb. I, I screwed it up. Leave me alone. I do kind of miss WoW. No, I can I'm, never I miss, go no. back I miss to the it. classic WoW. That's what I mean. No. Yeah. Like up to Recky, up to uh, nobody asked you. Up no. to Wrath nobody cares, Recky. No, up to Wrath of the Lich was. Yeah, we had Wrath of the Lich times. King was a lot of fun. Don't. He'll get into this. I want to be well again. Then we'll have to talk him out of it. No, he knows. Talk he me knows. down from the ledge. I don't think he'd go back yeah. now. It's way too Unless far they gone. do those progression servers, like I said, where it starts he in will, vanilla. Uh, I would do it in a heartbeat. I would do it in a heartbeat. He's such an addict. If I could, if I because I know where all the the good stuff is. I could level real quick and just, just it would be awesome. Just give me an excuse for that hit, man. We would do it together. Give me an excuse. Be bala. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so hey, want to play this game? Um, no, because we still have like 10 minutes before we need to. Aww. <laughs> we can play this and then go back to discussing stuff afterwards. No, we do those uh, to end the show. That's enough. how we end the show. I so, want to see George. Okay. You want to see me fail, that's what it is. You want to see him fail because he's going to get all these wrong. I made him really Oh, I knew fun. you would. They're all games you do every, know, though. Every time. I still right, pick games right. I know you I play. killed it last time, so now you're going to bury me. <laughs> all right, I know so. Your ways. Does Fallout 4's voice characters dis- detract from the open world? And freedom of previous no. Fallout games. No, and do you no, feel it affects no. your immersion? Nope. It increases my yes. immersion in the game. Are you kidding me? Like the the fact that I can hear my person and what I choose being verbally said out loud is awesome. I love that. <laughs> yeah, connected in a way I never connected with it, the previous. Yeah, um, it's. When it's just silent and you're just picking from a list, it's like... Yeah, and then whatever. they just talk like you said it? No. Well, and then it used to give you, like, a paragraph of each option. 
<laughs> like just I mean, this huge answer, and then maybe that's interesting. And this it's like three words, and you kind of just go with the feel of it. Yeah, which that's what I, I like. like. Better. I love the way it just going for the feel of a conversation right now or with the with previous the new one. ones. No, the previous oh, yeah. ones were all text. Yeah, that's the what new I mean. one. I is you're just, saying you get like three the words, and then you pick it, and then yeah. your guy just says. Mm-hmm. Whatever's close to that, and yeah. like sometimes it comes off wrong, but like you weren't expecting. But uh, it's it, overall, it's been perfect. Anytime any time they complaints. add voices to anything, I'm pro voice. Um, uh, yeah, well, I just, I just feel like, I feel like it's about time that we stepped up in the sandbox environment because, interestingly, some of the discussion I've seen online, like Reddit especially, um, True Gaming is a horrible subreddit for the most part because there's so many whingy people on there. They just whine so much. And um, I mean that's kind of part of it okay, is discussion, but the 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 biggest complaint that I saw was that it takes away the mystery of your character. Like you don't get to pick a voice um, or any of that stuff. Like you're stuck with one voice and one story. You know your character story where you had a kid and you you had a, a wife or whatever, and, mm-hmm. and you guys had a kid together, that sort of thing. And where you're kind of stuck in at least that main overarching story. I mean- that's it how it's feels been. different, but it really is no different than Fallout Three oh, because yeah. in Fallout Three you were the son of a or the the child of this guy, and then he left. A, and you grew up in the vault, mm-hmm. and that was like you couldn't have been a raider who grew out in the wasteland because you weren't. You were yeah. this kid who grew up in the vault. So they've always kind of done the that. The story with their is stories. going to be there no matter what. So I feel like people just aren't realizing that it's always been that way. It's just now there's a voice to put behind it rather than... Now, I think one thing they could have done, which is such a minor nitpicky point on my part, but they could have added multiple voice yeah, options. Yeah, like, have okay. two... You'd think, like, I know that because they did that with um, Dragon Age Inquisition, you could pick between two different voices yeah, for, each, right, for, right. for a female voice or a male right. voice. Because um, they, they had full voice acting too, right? But the amount of dialogue yes. was so much less. Like, the other characters had tons and tons of lines, but you, they only had to record for a thousand lines for the main character, so mm-hmm. that's eight thousand lines total between two voice actors for each. Right, um, yeah. So it's like, but in this game, I feel like there's just so much dialogue that it was unfeasible oh, to... Oh, and I can, they spent, I can agree. I remember reading an article where they spent almost a full year... Just doing recording, recording, just the main characters. Yeah. Oh, I could believe, I believe that. that. So I really options. don't Definitely. think that they could have. No, and uh, that's why I say it's that. such a minor nitpicky point. It's just mm-hmm. uh, feasible or not. That would be one thing that I would say could add to the immersion of your character. Maybe if there was but... a way to like, like choose to put a filter on it, like make it deeper or higher, mm-hmm. just by adjust the pitch, adjusting the pitch yes. a little. Yeah. Like maybe that would have made it a little more customizable. But, but I, I see really why they picked. Necessary. I see why they picked the male voice they picked, because at the very beginning he sounded a lot like Ron Perlman's "War, mm. War Never Changes." Like he sounded j- almost exactly like Ron Perlman, and then he starts doing the dialogue, and you're like, "That's not Ron Perlman," but he had that same feel and yeah. inflection. Another thing I've heard a lot of complaints about is that he's not as emotional as they would like. Like he doesn't put a lot of emotion behind it. Like his, uh, because I play the male, I know. I don't know about the female. So I I apologize. I think uh, she's incredibly emotive and wonderful. I don't think uh, it it seems. But the the, the reason that I don't have a problem with the how the how emotive or not the male is is because he was a soldier and he probably saw some crap. Because he had literally just come out of a war when he went into the vault. So I feel like that's more of a problem with just some male voice actors because in. In Mass Effect, the male voice actor was also incredibly non-emotive like and, and terrible to the point where most people ended up playing the female just because the voice was better. I honestly don't Kendo even... Kendo says he has to go. See you, Kendo. Thanks yeah, for joining us, one. man. Thanks for have supporting a good night. Nintendo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't feel like he didn't have any emotion. I think it just really depends on the dialogue you're having yeah. with particular people. Yep. You know, depending on the situation, I felt like he there were, there was some flexion. You know, yep. when no, I I think he's great. You know, I didn't um, feel. At I, all I feel that like I feel like he's really calm and collected for the most part. Yeah, and I think that's a big that goes a lot to that military training. And another nitpicky Personally. thing, 
Or go ahead. Can, can we talk about the new radio t- announcer? I haven't oh even God. listened to the radio. He's so funny. He's so <gasps> awkward. To, I didn't either until, but the radio announcer He's makes so it. Good. Is it as they, good as uh, they went the dog guy? He's totally different. Direction. Totally oh. different. Like three dog is cool. He's like three dog this is and, three dog and um, coming the at robot from guy the in, wasteland. In, in new. V- New Vegas, they were both so charismatic, like your typical, oh my gosh, I could listen to this guy yeah. for hours kind of thing. And this guy is like, uh, okay. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's he's the most awkward, awkward dude. adorable, yeah, really. shy. So, like, has, so cute. there was a, so cute. A, a fight. And um, I heard that the uh, the Minutemen were involved. <laughs> I I didn't think that uh, they, they still were, exist. still existed or something. That's funny. Or whatever he it. says that a lot. He's like yeah. or, or whatever. Yeah, whatever. Like he <laughs> he's makes, so he's great. So cute. Is Three Dogs still there? No, or no? no. Okay. he's so only in only DC. That guy. Three Dogs only in DC. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because that that's, that's oh because yeah, it's in a di- yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, in a different area. area. Okay. Another nitpicky yeah. thing that I'm glad. It, it was really stupid, but I'm really glad they fixed it. Is in the other Fallout games, I hated the way the character looked when they walked. Like when you would be in third person, and the way they would move was just so that, unnatural. Yeah, that, that was because of the uh, obli- the yeah. Morrowind engine and I hated was so, it so wonky. So much. I, the Morrowind engine was awful. I never play in third yeah. person. I, I I try it every once in a while just to see how but I like it. But even it looks even so Skyrim weird. has some weird yeah. animations. But now when you're third, but they it really looks fixed really it. Good yeah, this it time. looks I extremely. Good. I never. Yeah. That's why. You know that's, what I'm talking well, about. But I mean, you use use the same kind of motion range as the AI does, which is a change because the AI used to always move in specific ways and, yeah. and like look really fluid and you just yeah. look like an idiotic Weird. robot like yeah. blah, 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 blah. And your joints would all move and yeah like, and you're like you're like you're you would just like start sidestepping yeah. like out of and, and it's like, like what? And, it was and your so feet would terrible. just do weird stuff and now so. it looks so natural it, Nathan really nice. says um he likes the way you can change the guy to be cooler um the announcer guy but I don't know that I like I want to know more about him to do his quest Wait, but the I, announcer guy oh the, yeah, radio, the radio guy, guy yeah. but I don't him. want to yeah he's it's so I, I think so yeah you can do some quest thingies for him I don't want him to you change. can meet him and I guess you can you can change him the first in some time ways. I meet him no spoilers though because I, yeah. I don't really want to yeah no don't spoil him. anything don't if it's going to be a spoiler I don't I don't hear, think it is wait let me plug my ears here we go <laughs> no thanks. Never mind. It's really not that bad. George. It's not that bad. George. Are we sure? You're, you're okay. good, man. Right. She she to won't talk spoil about the first anything. First time you met him. Okay, go ahead. Go yeah, because you'll meet him, and it's gonna be the, the same. The first time you walk in and thing. meet him, he like has a panic attack that you're there. He's like, oh, why are you? Uh, okay. Uh. Then, oh, okay. All right. Yeah, that's not too bad. Adorable. <laughs> that's pretty funny. All right. Well, I'm trying to avoid all possible. Spoilers. Oh yeah, yeah. Of course. We're we're trying not to, we're trying to be spoiler free here on mm-hmm. ICT. Spoiler free on ICT. Hey, hey. No. 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 All right. Oh, sad day. Stop it. Anyways, so um yeah, so I I personally I like the voice acting way 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 better oh. than no oh, yeah. voice at all. So I am great. so much so great. I am so for it. And I'm so Bethesda attached to the, the characters thing. now. Bethesda Codsworth did the thing. Says my name. Yep. Yep. It's Codsworth awesome. is awesome because he says your name. He has all sorts of names. Mr. Like Joel. the um, amount of companions is really encouraging. What was the name? Uh, Erectus and uh, Orgasmo. <laughs> Are two names on the name list. <laughs> oh Codsworth. And there's say. like um, F face, um, <gasps> and there's A face, and stuff like that. Oh, it's so funny. But er- Erectus and Orgasmo were like killer. <laughs> the best things. Ever. So funny. Erectus. Nice. What? Sir Erectus. <laughs> Sir Erectus. <laughs> Master you gotta, Orgasmo. You gotta say it in his voice, though. <laughs> I can't, though. I, I can't do his voice because he's unique. He's All awesome. right. Um. So, uh, uh, let's see. Ah, no spoilers. No spoilers, man. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> it's not a spoiler. He's making a joke. Don't be insensitive, Nathan. <laughs> he'll be. He'll be whatever he wants. <laughs> That's how he is. You know That's that. the kind of guy he is. <laughs> All right. So. uh what do you guys think makes a sandbox game great? Is it the total freedom, the 100% customization of behavior and path, or something else? And like, how do you guys think that relates to Fallout 4? Like, in terms of, I think it's a com- it's a certain combination of things that is really hard to pin down. Because some games have the combination, they don't get it right in the correct parts, and then it's just like meh. And then some games get it right perfectly, and it's like it's this mystery formula. I think we can't figure out yet. That's what I think. Unknown to science. Unknown to science. We haven't figured it out just quite yet. <laughs> no, I... Hey, the feedback gaming. Thanks for coming to hang out. Hello, sir. Says, uh, I love talk shows. Just three folks hanging out. Ah, exactly. yeah. Exactly. That's what we're about. That's what we do. Just that's, chilling. That's our weekly podcast. But, uh, I, I think the freedom. 
honestly. The customization doesn't really bother me too much if there's not as much. It doesn't have to be like a bazillion different combinations. That's almost daunting to me because then you're taking four hours just to build your person to the way you want them to be. So that part... Uh, it give was me like very, ten faces. It was very easy on Fallout, I though. loved... The, let me go to that. I easy. loved the way they did that. How really? you just select the parts of the I face. I did not like it at all. Oh my god. Bring back my awesome. sliders. I, I had... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to articulate this without cursing, and I just I'm not oh boy. I'm not there. So, so. I loved it so much. I felt uh, that it was so easy. I can't too. read that name. Is that floaty? Floaty. Yeah, it looks like five five five. Two. Floaty, What's up, floaty five 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 two. How's it going? It's good to Thanks see you. Thanks for joining, joining us. Coming it. to hang out. Yeah. We're talking about I could not Fallout even. and sandbox games in general right now. I just. Yeah, no, I, I, it was so tough, and it, really? like, finally I just gave up, and I'm just like, close enough. Whatever, that yeah. looks like a person, right? right? I, it was really I easy to make one that Seriously. looked almost exactly like me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I, tried, actually, I didn't look at your person. Like, I'm, I'm a little sharper. Like he's a little bit more defined, and he looks much more roguish than I do. Yeah. But see, I tried to make my character cool. husband look like him, and it doesn't even not even close. No, <laughs> not even close. I just, I'm just like, I didn't this have a problem with it. I think, I think maybe terrible. you just. Maybe it's just not the system for you. No, I give no. me the slide. I I will manipulate sliders all day long. All yeah, day. No, it was. I just thought all it was day. so awesome. You just picked exactly which one. Oh yeah. Even to the there was like four parts. Yeah, my, my guy started out as like a caveman with a yeah. giant nose, oh, yeah. and I'm like, <laughs> you know, and so yeah. I, I just sized it in and, and I pushed it in, and, and then I brought out the cheeks of it because I got little chubby cheeks. Exactly. And, and I brought those like out a little bit. The sharpness of the jawline. Oh yeah, it was so good. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna make it nose just a little boom. Now what? Make one, a little bit uh, one game that got character customization wrong nope. would be GTA V. All day. I didn't play that one. I don't even remember the Oh, God. Well, you had to pick two parents. Oh, and then that you. Was oh, horrible. it was awful. Ugh. Yeah, they would just look like monsters after it. Uh, what's in the white and red cups is... Uh, Mine's water. Well, one's water. Um, the other was uh, cherry coke. Oh. Uh, was cherry coke. Was cherry coke. Oh, now it's water. Okay. Yeah, we, we had our, uh, we had our Chick-fil-A. Chicken fillets. Oh, yeah. Um, so what Recky, about you, Tim? Recky, you, you never wanna, answered. You tell what your tattoo is. I'll, I'll, I'll answer. Oh, this? What, what a, oh, the, the question. Yeah. Oh, I'll answer the question. It's Vulcan script because I'm a giant nerd. Yeah, she is a nerd. Ten Super points nerd. to Super nerd. Oh, Into yeah. nerd. Yeah, All right. So what so, do you think about the? Um. So, uh, sandbox freedom. games. <sighs> it's. One of those things that to activate your power cord. I just wish I had my pit boy. I just wish I had oh. my pit boy on oh. so I could look it up. Boop, 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 boop. Morph shape of T Rex. I'll tell you, I I love sure the way. Tell us yeah, something. I don't know. I'm waiting. I'll, I'll tell, tell you. you. Stop interrupting me, and maybe <laughs> just you maybe. Paused. So I Fallout Four does it really well. Does it the way that I would expect? It has the voice acting, the free exploration, the, the roaming, and all that stuff. Mm. GTA Five does it really well. Um, it's just the character customization that's the failing point on that. Like it mm. has to be a balance. Yeah. Um, yeah, it does. Like, like you said, it's you got to have like a really good character customizer to really make them unique, and you've got like um, I would say. Um, even MMOs are almost sandboxy in a lot of ways um, well, because you can just go explore and run around, but they're they're not quite. They're yeah, a they have different. a lot less customer. Well, yeah, they have. I, w- I was gonna say that um, I I had a hard time getting into Witcher Three. I love it, but it just gets so overwhelming so quick. Whereas I haven't really been overwhelmed in Fallout yet. Overwhelming? How so? Like. I don't or know. Like with the amount like you just, have to do, or but then I'm just like, oh, I can't deal with this anymore. I'm just gonna put it away. Mm. That kind of thing. So I don't know. See, that's weird, because uh, I, in the exact opposite, I felt that way in Skyrim, but yet in The Witcher, I feel like I can stay in there so much longer, and I don't get overwhelmed, but in Skyrim, there's just... Because um, oh, The Witcher is less sandbox, much. though, isn't it? No, I mean, not really. It's pretty, not really. It's pretty, pretty sandbox. You can go... I mean, you got areas that that as you progress in the story, you open up new areas. Yeah. But within the area, you could do as much as... Yeah, so Arnold wherever. Schwarzenegger says hello. Wow. Arnold, it's good hello. to see you, Arnold. Please wow. don't do the voice. Hopefully that's not Arnold. It's good to be right. seeing you as the governor it's of California. I'm a cop. <laughs> Why am I having this baby? Dang it, that was the one I was going to next. <laughs> wow. Now my brain, Charles. Puff. Wow. Why am I having this baby? All right. Sorry, <laughs> carried away. It's so, not the tumor. <laughs> it's oh. not the tumor. Now there's two of you. <laughs> All right, so we should definitely get to our game because 
we do uh, we do a little bit of a game every week. We try to, or some kind of a special feature. And to close out our show, um, we we go from six thirty p.m. Eastern until about eight o'clock Eastern time. We uh, um, we usually use the last thirty minutes to do a little mini game, thirty minutes or so. Or um, we have a Japan crate once a month too that we do, which Yay. is awesome. Can't wait for the next. But anyways, oh, yeah. so <clears throat> here we go. So we're gonna be doing a game called. What's the name of the game? Do the thing. I don't have a video intro for this, so sorry, guys. It'll take it a second. Or apparently, this computer is super slow. This computer's changed. It sounds like a like a jet engine is about to take off in here. It. Sorry. It. it, It's a little slug. We need to change the name to "When's the Sound Gonna Play." When's the sound gonna play? (laughs) Think it's almost there, guys. It's thinking. Almost there. It's there wanting it to. It's wanting. There it goes. Did you unplug it? I didn't unplug it. <laughs> what about in the front? Is <laughs> it in the front? It's so dead. <sighs> it, it's Try literally it not. There, there we go. What's the name of the game? Yeah. Whee! <laughs> All right, so how this game works is that we are going to play a three to five second clip of some gameplay of a game. Um, George is our contestant, but you guys can play along at home. So we're going to play this sound clip. It usually will take a second, but um, George, you can have us repeat it as many times as you'd like. Okay. Um, you can feel free to ask questions if you say... Can I phone a friend? No, no you cannot. <laughs> but um, I, I won't necessarily answer them, but... Um, you know, you can try to ask questions. Some some questions I will answer. Like if you're right, like, right. was it on the PlayStation? You I'll say get, yes or no. That sort of thing. Yeah, like you can you can ask genre. You can you, get, you know you get more points for not. Yes. Okay. Questions, but though. when you start, you know. All right. Okay. So all right. okay. So um, those of you on Twitch, feel free to post it in chat. Um, and those of you listening on a recorded media, um, just feel free to you try to get it right. So <laughs> all right. So our first one, Recky. All right. God. And if you want to hear it again, you can. Yeah, please. There's no penalty. <laughs> this one's really, really hard. I, this was like probably the hardest one, and I, I did this one intentionally. What genre? Do you have any ideas? Um, it is a, uh, um, it is a hack and slash. God, a hack and slash. Play it again. Dude, I just don't even have the slightest clue. <laughs> Can I ask what generation of console it was on? Um, I will give you the console it was on if okay. you'd like. Okay. It came out on the PS2. Oh my god, PS2? Uh, Dynasty Warriors. Incorrect. I, um, I got no clue. What are we... The correct answer, Recky? God of War 2. Oh god. Was that Kratos' voice? I didn't even recognize it, man. <laughs> that that was not Kratos that said that. That was a, oh, an okay. enemy that oh. he was fighting. <laughs> Don't let him through. Man. I know that was hard. That was hard. That was I'll try to hard. make him. I'll try to make him a little bit more accessible. It's yeah. just that one. Oh no! I go had, for yeah. it. If it's hard, I want it to be hard. All right. Just... So, Deadly Presence guest Resident Evil. You're wrong. No. Deadly <laughs> Presence. Ready for the right, next one? Ready for number yeah, two? Zero points. Dude, that sound, I know that You know sound. this one. I know you know this one. <laughs> Wait, one more time. Can I get the console? That is a Nintendo 64 title. So out of, out of three potential points, you now can only get two. Okay, we'll play it one more time. Banjo Kazooie? You are correct. Very, nice. Very good. Two points for George. Two points for George. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no problem, Deadly Presence. Just giving you a hard time. All right, ready for the next yeah, one? Let's go for it. All right, let's do it. Call in rocket strikes on both positions now. What are you waiting for, Miller? <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop giggling. It's creepy. <laughs> I, I picked that out just because it was like. I, I gotta do it. I gotta pick out something that will give him an identifier, but I know I just knew you wouldn't know what to do with it, so. 
So you currently have three potential points. You can use two hints to remove me, a point. Let me each. get the console again. The console was Xbox 360, PS3, and PC. Came out on multiple platforms. And actually, it may have come out on the Wii as well, but I'm not sure. I don't think That's so. three games then. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Play again? One more time, yeah. Call in rocket strikes on those positions now! I want to say. Two points possible. Audience? Is it bad company? Incorrect. You uh, are you're on the right track, but you're incorrect. Well, it's got to be like Battlefield then or something. No. What no. is it? It is. Wrecking. Call of Duty World at War. Oh, God. <laughs> so you got two points Cheaters. so far. Oh, man. All right, all right. So, yeah. good game, though, right? Yeah, like, yeah, it's no, a good game. Were, so, all right, clear your palate. Like clear your mental brain palate. You got you to gotta get that yeah, out, yeah. you know? It's okay. It's, it's just hard because Miller's just like such a. It's so, <laughs> all of that shit. Get Miller. some rockets down there, <laughs> Miller. What? Right? Miller. Okay. You're, here, have a Miller light <laughs> while you're being Miller and Miller, Miller, Miller. All what? Right. Next. <laughs> all right. Make a wish. Fable. <laughs> Is that Fable? <laughs> which one? Oh god! I'll give you two. It. I'll give you two extra points if you can tell me which one. <laughs> Fable two. You are yeah. correct. Yeah. So that is seven points. You're currently oh, at nine. Like you're like, when you or heard, no, that's five when points. You heard you're at the seven. Crunch now. at the, the end. You're like, yeah. Fable. Yep, yep. I, that, I knew that would give it that away. Apple, man. That was actually from the sound <laughs> test of somebody adjusting their volume sliders. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So <laughs> it was like, ooh, that's good. I oh, grabbed it. Man, that, was that was a good one. That was really good. I'm impressed that with that. Crunch, man. That, that, that make man. a wish. You're Iconic. like. You just had this look yeah. like, I know what that's from. Yeah. You know, like you had that look, but you just couldn't the place it. And that crunch slammed it. Toads in. gave it away because we listened to thousands of those <laughs> yeah. when we played that. Remember, we, we played that together, Dude, though. We almost annihilated mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ready? That's Goldeneye. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <Very> <laughs> that, was, that, that was your freebie. <laughs> You're at 10 points now. You're at 10 points. Very nice. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> All right. This one's, like, this one's nigh impossible, I think. <laughs> if you get this, I'm going to be so freaking impressed, dude. Alright, what genre is it? Um, open world. Yeah, open world sandbox type thing. Grand Theft Auto? Which one? Which one? Oh, God. Um, <laughs> Want to hear it again? Yeah. That's got to be like early. What's your answer, George? What's the name of the game? You're at 13 points. You got two more possible. Points. What's the latest one? Is five. that five? Well, maybe three? Four. <laughs> it's four. four. Yep, okay. it's four. You're close, though. You're all close. Right. Do I get any points? Yeah, for yeah you're at, you got okay. three for all that, right, and right. then you get two bonus for getting the exact game because okay. they all, all right. sound similar. Yeah. So yeah. when there's a similar series, okay. we'll, we'll go right. with if you can name okay. the one. So Ready? you're at 13 points. Do it. Oh man, even I can get this. <laughs> I knew you'd get it right away. <laughs> Play it again. We're going to reroute. Do you copy? Come on, that voice. That is I, an I, iconic I, voice. He's yeah. in a lot of games. Yeah, that's though. A, he's, he's in, in a lot of shooters. But this game, he was. He was important. He was important. Play it one more time. We're going to reroute. Do you copy? God, man, I, I know that I should know this. Are there any hints okay. that you would like? George, I know what it is. So it's got to be a game Rekki's played. Do you, you a need a hint? Mass Effect? Which one? Because uh, you got that right. And he's so in that's all your three, three, though. Yeah, but which one? <laughs> Jesus. Which one? So you got 16 points. You can earn two more with this one. You can earn two more. You're, you're redeeming yourself on the missed one. Hey, it's so. a 33% chance, man. Just pick one. <laughs> yep. uh, let's go with two. No, oh, number three. Three. Oh, three. There's a third one, yeah. Ah. Yep, very good. So you're at 16 points. Mm -hmm. 16. All right, See, ready for this? That's the hardest part is which yep. one. Oh, yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> but I, I, try, I try to make it difficult, though. I like the bonus though. points, I got to give you some bonus points yeah, because no, if you can name good. the one, I mean, that's yeah, that's, that's impressive. That's That deserves a bonus. Right. But getting the game is, yeah. is right there. So right. next. Ready? Tim, play, play. don't <laughs> laugh through the whole thing. You can't hear it. Play again. Pot 
potential of 19 points is on the line for George, no for pressure. young George. Did it. No <laughs> pressure. Did we play it together? You are correct. Okay. Um, that is a good call. I think you know exactly yeah, where I'm it's going. I'm trying to think of what the name of it is, though. I can't remember. I can give you the surname. It, is it number two of what it is? Yes. Yes. Okay. You are correct. God, I know what it is. I just can't think of. What I will. It's... I will throw you the extra two if you if you nail it exactly. So twenty-one points on the line. Can you dig God, it? What is Can the you name dig of it? Stop. stop. Can y'all dig it? Stop. <laughs> Can you stop. dig it? <laughs> Can I at least get the first letter? M. M. Yes. I'll, I'll take one point for that. God, so twenty possible I points. Exactly You're, you have a chance for tw- up to twenty much. points now. You can do this, George. Either you're going to remember or you're not, but... You got this. Oh, God. You want to play it one more time for him? I know, I, like I'm telling you, I know exactly We're, what we'll it is. We'll play it once more for the audience. I'm just trying to think play of it once the, more for the audience. what the actual name is. Like, we went around blowing up all kinds of stuff. We had tons of glitches <laughs> and stuff in it. I, I, <laughs> How do you not remember the name? We I'm, talk about this all the time. Me, dude, I, I know, you know I know, too. I don't know. Should we give him a point? He knows what it is. He just can't remember. Like, I uh, could but he's got to give, me, he's gotta give me the name, though. That's the. It's the name of the game, not what's <sighs> the feel of the game or what's the gameplay of the if game. It's what's the choice, name of the game. It. Of course, it w- if it was multiple choice, but that, that would remove all say, the challenge. Say three M words and see if he picks it out. <sighs> No, because <laughs> no, that would give it away. <laughs> it's so terrible because I know what right, it is. All right, give in, George. Then I can, I I cannot give up because I know we're going to be sitting here for the next twenty minutes. <laughs> Come on, I'll take Did another. Did you say you give me the surname? Uh, the, the the end bit, yes. The all last right, class right, is World and Flames. World and Flames. Blank two. World and Flames. Oh sh. Shoot. Did you close that? I didn't close it, but it did close. Oh, it's going to take 10 years to reopen, Recky. Mercenaries 2. Boosh! Okay. You were at Why 20 points. Why could you points. have taken a little bit longer while I fixed our technical issues? So, oh. yes, you remember God, you remember dude. that game. Oh. It's a good game, though, right? I'm, I'm No, I'm just so mad at myself for not being able to remember what it freaking was. <laughs> I can't believe you were having that much trouble. I, I figured I didn't. I honestly didn't think from that little bit you'd get it, but I'm, I'm very impressed you got it. Yeah, I was just... I really I am. Remember. Like, just a little bit of a guitar for the music yeah, and then the rocket a, launcher yeah. sound. That's what I picked out. Like, I didn't even pick cut scenes or anything. Oh, I just picked yeah. gameplay. Yep. Man, your your memory for that is imp- <laughs> I'm seriously, it is impeccable, dude. That is that is mind boggling. Oh god. Oh man. Yeah. I would have had so trouble with that one dude. personally. I would have had trouble with that one, so I'll be the first to And the worst part uh, is just cuz you It knew. takes about 10 years to open. Did you double click it? Which one? This one? VLC? The- <laughs> no, this. You got to open VLC first. I clicked VLC. It didn't, didn't, didn't And the whole computer is shutting down. <laughs> 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 what in the world just happened? I didn't do it. <laughs> Recky existed, therefore it exploded. Well, that's part Here, one of that no, game. Um, part hand me my phone. It's gonna be. Uh, this is gonna suck, but <laughs> we're gonna do this. I don't need the cord. Yeah, hand me the just, hand me the cord. I and the worst part was is you knew that I knew what it was. You knew I that I knew <laughs> that you knew could not that you knew. Spit it out. I could not spit it out. You knew that I knew that I knew that you knew with the knowing and the knowing. So uh, I think loud. before the next show, we need to wipe that thing clean. Yeah, I need to I need to reformat that thing <laughs> that really thing is badly. Done and it done. has seen better days. All right, let me go to folders. Sorry guys for the technical difficulties, but you know this is ICT, and that is our <laughs> that is our mo. That is our, yeah, that is our mo. I hope it doesn't blast your ears out. Uh, but uh, if you guys want to say anything in chat, I can see it. I can answer your questions. I can. Uh, we all can. Maybe not Tim, but Caitlin and I could possibly maybe think about it. If we're lucky. Okay. Here we go. Alright, so well, is this... Did. Yeah, there we go. Here you go. Oh, come on. Play it one more time. I mean, Mega Man? No. Pokemon. Not even close. Oh, Pokemon. see, that's not even... I'm not even... I don't think I've oh, you, ever played a Pokemon. You've been around people who've played Pokemon, you, though. Yeah, yeah but exactly. I've never, oh, Dude, I've, I've listened to the music get... a lot. 
That should have been a dead giveaway. Oh, dude, I, I'm telling you. Oh, you're at 20 points. It's okay. Right, it's okay. Right. You've made up a lot of missed points, so. <laughs> all right, man. Here you go. That's a Splinter Cell game. Okay. Which one? So that's three for points. So point. you're at Just 23 for, oh, for two God. bonus points. Can you tell me the game? Um, Splinter Cell. Oh, thanks for the follow, whoever that was. That was... Wow, long name. Um, The O'Reilly Factor 9000. Right. Thank you very much for Thank the follow. You, much appreciated. Um, God, Splinter Cell. And yes, we are here. We are live, The O'Reilly Factor 9000. Yes, and hello to uh, Fagio Gonsol. Good to see you. Um, Splinter... I... And Fagio Gonsol, oh. thank you for the follow. <laughs> we greatly kind of appreciate that. Left. Thank you so much. Um, Splinter Cell. <clears throat> so which, which, what is the name of the game? We'll, we'll play it again. You are correct. Splinter Cell Conviction? No. Okay, I don't know. There's toy Pandora toy. Tomorrow. Oh, okay. And, uh, that was, that was a, like, a, they numbers. all sound yeah, the freaking same. <laughs> all right, can you name the game? That's gotta be some kind of Star Wars game. Can you tell us what the name of the game? Star Wars Battlefront Two. I don't know. <laughs> is it a Star Wars game? It is a Star okay, Wars game, um, but that that's way too general. Um, it's gotta be. Um, you no gotta tell me the game. Factor. This is um, a talk show right now. Yeah, this is doing? our weekly podcast. O'Reilly Factor, where we talk about, <laughs> where we normally do games discussion, except for the last about half hour of the show. We run until about 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, and we do a little uh, mini game or something special at the end of the show. Um, right now we are doing a, a it's not game Battle called Front What's 2, the Name so. of the Game? We play a little sound clip, and uh, three to five seconds, and George has to name the game. It's not Battlefront 2? Battle it is game? not. Is okay. that your guess? Yeah. It was the Force Unleashed. Oh, that one's so awesome too. Okay, and for uh, our absolute final song, bum, bum, bum. you ready for this? Yep. All right, bring it on. Here we go. Oh, Street Fighter man! <laughs> <laughs> I, ended on I a love good that. Note. <laughs> Sonic Boom. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> oh man. So, that that's pretty funny. So, uh, O'Reilly Factor says he's sipping some nice Millers. <laughs> Miller, yeah. get in there! Get in, Miller! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we, are, we are drinking either cola or water, water at the moment. Finish my cola. Normally it'll be tea, but for the for the show, we, we generally uh, keep it clean. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, for the there's definitely no liquor. For the chillins. Occasionally we will. <laughs> that's rare. It's rare, but... During the right. show, during the live stream, so, it's a different uh, story. Yeah, the, the stream is just him, and sometimes me on voice only. Yeah, and, and sometimes George whenever he is around, which is never, just rarely, because he sucks. I'm gonna keep him wanting right, more. How much, if I'm George's fully saturated, point count then. in the end, the total point count. Okay, so uh, George, you ended up with twenty six points. Very respectable. I am impressed. I pulled out some ones you never thought I was yeah, going to do. I know. Was, some of them you were really like, oh. And you got the exact number of the game. Yeah. And st- I, was, I was impressed. I, I was scared. You did well. Oh. <laughs> yes. That's pretty funny, O'Reilly Factor. So, yeah. So, that is a, that's, what's that's the that, name man. of the game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those were tougher, though, man. You did good. I, I'm glad you... Uh, Kicked it up a notch. I thought for sure you were just going to pick things I would never even have the um, clue. This and then Pokemon my, I'm so vague with. Um, I thought for Fagio sure Gonsol, this is actually Pokemon. my phone. I, I, that was in my hand. I played a Pokemon game in 78 <laughs> years. It's my, it's my phone. The uh, laptop decided to shut itself off. It had I haven't enough. played a Pokemon game since first generation. Hey, man, it was it was second <laughs> gen. I knew, I knew it was early. I knew it was early. <laughs> first 150, bro. See, that tells know you how anything. much I know about Pokemon. Idiot. Zero. I don't know anything. Well, I'm before just we wrap up, okay... So I want to talk. One, one more, one more talking. Talking. Right. One more topic. <laughs> one more topic. <laughs> one more topic. One more topic. Can't speak English. So, what are the most iconic characters 
post 2000 of modern games. Oh, okay. Post so we're not talking ones like, that uh... showed up before 2000. <laughs> so Mario is out, Pac-Man is out, <laughs> Legend um, out, Lara Croft is out, Sonic is out, Pikachu, Link, all those. Those were pre 2000. Post 2000, last say 10 years. You know, was uh, Master Chief? Yeah. Well, Master Chief's got to be one Master of them. Master Chief is definitely gotta be one. one of them. Yeah, because I would say I would say iconic would be that even people who don't play games that, that's, would be like, yeah. oh, that's, that that's from that static. video game yeah. or whatever. You know, iconic know, status. So, so yeah. Master Chief's got to be Master gotta Chief. Be one of them. Yeah, for sure. Um, maybe, oh God, maybe no, that's hard. Maybe Booker Dewitt. Maybe no, I don't, no, think, so. I don't no. Even think so. No, like if my mother was like, oh, that's from that video game or something, then that even, was even really not that you know, That's super not, not, not post yeah. not post two thousand. Yeah, not anyway. post two thousand. Well, it's like interesting. Chiefs that's about an interesting it. thing. It's an interesting topic. I can't really think of like like I said besides Master Chief because. Everything's just like rehashes of those iconic characters from then. You know what I mean? The, yeah, the games that come out are, are those people when mostly. Was, um, when was Animal Crossing started? I don't think Animal Crossing. Yeah, I don't be. think so. I really don't know them. I think maybe no. Rossetti's the only person I know from. I don't know anything from yeah. Animal Crossing, and I'm in gaming. <laughs> yeah, that that's what I mean. I mean, I live with somebody no... who's obsessed. So like, I'm just trying to even like look no. around. Like, oh, um, Ezio. Like just the general Assassin's Creed. Yeah, outfit. an assassin from Assassin's Creed. I think just would be the, the old yeah, but are we that a white. character or just that. Yeah, style Altair. Of character. Altair would be the first they'd say that guy so from the Assassin's saying, Creed game. Okay, so. which kind of they're all similar. Yeah, they all look pretty much the same. But so I, mean, I would count. I would count that. I would count that as one guy as iconic. So okay, well, um, oh god, that's a Seriously, tough question. I mean, what? Yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> I'm just like seriously. I'm just looking around to try to think. Of, yeah, and no. everybody's just from all the games before 2000. I know, and really I just, hard. I just don't. Anything which is sad, is honestly. Now that I think very about it, mainstream, I guess. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, it's just, it's just gaming has become well, such a like, big thing um, that maybe not necessarily a playable character. But maybe I think maybe a big daddy might be pretty up there. It could be, but I don't I don't know anybody... No. Uh, like, not my dad would non- never be like, oh, that's from Bioshock well, or from that one game. Your dad's so far away from... <laughs> but like he's, he's, he's around... He knows what a Pikachu is. He's around... So, well, yeah. maybe... No, because that's before See? then. There's nothing. It's Master Chief and that is it. <laughs> no, I, I... And probably Assassins, but yeah. I don't... I don't really know. Like, that is such a tough... Like, even characters from Smash Brothers that haven't been around forever, are I feel... Great. Yeah, I, I feel like are are stuck on there. So I that's a good question. Maybe we should research that and come back to talking about it next week. Okay. Well, whatever happens, next week. I called Master Chief, so I won. All well, right. okay, yeah, George, yeah. If that All makes right. you feel better. Right. So so um before we go, um George, I mean there's a question for you. I'll let you take it, it or leave it. It's completely inappropriate. It is. Shouldn't. It's uh 4000. There you go, Faz, you are, you are denser than yeah. Here. Here. I am a collapsed sun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm a white dwarf. <laughs> With a beard. I'm a bearded oh, white dwarf. Here All we go. Right. Oh, man. Can that be a quote now? I'm a bearded white dwarf. Yes. Oh, yeah. Please oh, yeah. quote I'll that. I'll have that one now. Kenneth's going to love it when he gets back. <laughs> He's going to be like, quote. Yeah, so uh, if you're ever wondering, I am a bearded white dwarf. <laughs> Beautiful. Added. Done. All right. I think that wraps us up for... Yeah, anyway, so uh, thanks to the two people that followed. and Yeah, uh, and thank you guys for, for joining us. Joining we us really appreciate, we appreciate you. We had, we had a, a great time. Yep. I know we didn't have uh, quite the turnout as normal because everyone's playing Fallout yeah, still. Exactly. No, so, um, well, that's what we're doing when we're done with this. Yeah, pretty much. So, um, yeah, so we <laughs> will... I'm going to be going right back. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be going back into our Fallout caves. So um, we really appreciate you guys joining us. It was a lot of fun tonight. George, you did a great job with a respectable yes. 20. Thank Six you. points in uh, in that's the name. What's the name of the game? God, I can't even get the, the game we'll name right. Our- but next year, um, next year we will be at um, <laughs> next year. Next, next, next year, year we're gonna be at an episode of the next year. <laughs> and next, next year, next week we will be playing um, uh, Fact or Fiction again. For both of you. Oh, there you go. That's exciting. Yes. So. so we'll do another episode of Fact or Fiction, which was a lot of fun, and. I just burped. That was lovely. Hi, guys. 
And you'll be putting previous streams like this up on. Oh yeah, and there yeah you can find everything on our YouTube. All of our podcasts are on iTunes as well. Um, you can check us out insertcointheater.com. All the links are all the relevant links are there. And if you didn't follow, make sure you follow us here on Click Twitch. Click that follow button. We'd appreciate when, it when very much. When these fools get to 200 follows, uh, they're gonna do a 24 hours of torturing themselves with video yes. games. Yeah, so, so that's we'll gonna, gonna be watch funny. Our live stream, and we're gonna be raising money for. Uh, who are we raising money for again? Extra Life. For diabetes. Good lord. Extra Extra Life. We're raising funds for them. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. You'll you'll get to hear us our, at our most tired and... Uh, and grouchy. And yeah, so... And we're going to be within punching distance of each other too. So. That should be exciting. So, um, <laughs> All right. Thank you guys very much. Let me see if I can find my outro here. And uh, we will see you guys next week. Yeah, Have a good one. Have a good one.